there, it's Jessica Minerva. Today we're going to look at some chambray fabrics and the different colourways that it comes in and what it's suitable for. I'm going to pair them up with some patterns so that you get a great idea of which fabrics to choose for which sewing pattern. As ever, the fabrics that I select and the patterns will be listed in the product list below. So if you click on them, you can see which fabrics other makers have been using to make them. And you can check out the chambray fabrics, read people's descriptions and reviews and find out what they like to sew. I always start my fabric reviews with the simplest patterns and um, the most basic fabrics first. And then I'll move on to more intermediate patterns and fabrics that might give you a little bit of a stretch in your sewing skills. So the first one is a chambray. And if we need to show you what chambray is, then looking at the raw edge is a really good way to show it. So chambray is when a fabric is woven with a dark thread and a white thread. And so on the weave, you'll get this sort of slub, a little texture of the white threads coming through the dark thread. So you don't get a matte finish, you get that sort of denim finish. What people often make the mistake of with chambray is to think it's only blue and it might be denim, but sometimes chambray is described as denim, meaning the colour denim, um, rather than denim weight fabric. So be careful that you don't choose a chambray to make jeans or heavy skirts or trousers or jackets. So I'm going to start off with this cotton. It's a poly cotton. So this is the lowest end of the pricing of today's chambray. It's really good quality though. It's great for children's clothes because children don't necessarily want to wear really thick denim, but they get the look of denim in a slightly lighter weight and obviously at a different cost. So children grow out of their clothes very quickly. So you'll be wanting to choose a lower budget fabric for children's clothes. If you're making something for yourself, a dress you're going to wear for years and years, then you might want to change your budget bracket and look for some different chambray. Not only is this a good price per metre, it's also really good value because it's 56 inches wide. This one is described as dark blue, but I wouldn't say it was dark blue. It's probably one of the lighter ones that I'll show you today. But it's a really good quality, 80% polyester, 20% cotton, and it's perfect for children's wear. And the pattern that I've chosen today is Butterick 3475. It's got a bit of a vintage vibe going there, but actually you could start with that pattern and really gain some sewing skills. There's a huge boys' ward, summer wardrobe on the back, short sleeve shirts, shorts, shorts with turn-ups, shorts with cargo pockets. Um, you can also do a shirt with a yoke or just a plain shirt. So you can get to learn some collar skills and some button banding skills by making something on a smaller scale. And then maybe you could move up to a shirt in an adult version. If you're still new to sewing, then you might want to try New Look 6859, which is a pyjama pattern. And I like this one because it's got a shorts version on it with a sort of curved hem. And this pattern goes from extra small to extra large. Um, that's a hip size 31 up to 49. You can use this for men's or women's pyjamas. Makes a great Christmas gift or birthday gift. And the fabric that I've chosen for this is not blue. So this one is a yarn dyed chambray and it's stripy. So this one I think is particularly good for the shorts. So if you got this, you wouldn't necessarily think it's a chambray. You'd just think of it as a really good quality cotton. But you can see on the raw edge again, where the white threads are woven in with the yellow threads. If you look on the selvage, you'll see all those white threads coming across. It's a really nice cotton, great for nightwear, comfortable to wear in bed. It comes in 11 different colours. They're all quite pastel colours. So um, maybe for summer pyjamas, that's a really good choice. And it's 100% cotton. And again, this one is 56 inches wide. So you get a good value out of that. If you're making a pyjama top as well, then you'd need to be quite skilled to use um, a stripe. 
but for pyjama bottoms and a white t-shirt that's absolutely perfect and that would be using New Look 6859. The next chambray that I've chosen is a bit of a mix because this one has a print on it. So this is a chambray, so you can see that denim weave texture with the white thread showing through, but then it's got um, a print on top, so it's not woven in, that's a, a print on top of the fabric. It irons well, I've ironed that with a hot iron and nothing's happened to the um, print on it. But it just adds another dimension to your chambray. So if you're not sewing solid colours, but you want some uh, pattern, then this one is really pretty. It's 100% cotton. It's 57 inches wide and it's quite a good price. It's a mid-range uh, chambray. There is, uh, if you check out this pattern below, you will see an absolutely beautiful dress by Saturday Night Stitch. And she's combined different chambrays to uh, make the most beautiful dress using a pattern chambray and a plain one. The pattern that I've chosen today to uh, sew this with is a children's pattern, which is called Dorothy by Bobbins and Buttons. And it's a girl's dress with a bow at the back and it goes from 12 months to 12 years so you'll get a really good long life out of this pattern and I think you could use that for a 12 month one year old child or you could use it for a 12 year old it's so versatile it could be quite grown up but with the bow you can really make it a girl's dress so this one is a pattern chambray Look out for pattern chambrays. There's quite a few that are have a chambray background and very small ditzy white prints on top. Um, my 14-year-old has a Stevie dress in uh, a chambray with little da white daisies on it and she wears it a lot because she feels like she's wearing denim but in the summer it's really nice, lightweight and it's 100% cotton. The next fabric is by Art Gallery Fabrics and you can feel that as soon as you pick it up. It's a beautiful finish, really smooth. It's a very light cotton this. I think if you made a dress with it, you might need to line the bottom certainly and even the top. It, it's not really a dress fabric. You could make a shirt in this, a men's summer weight shirt or a ladies summer weight shirt. And I'm showing you this one because I think this is a really good mix of fabric to mix with something else. So it's in the higher price bracket, but it is 56 inches wide. This one is called Endless Paradise and it's, it's blue, but it's got more of a touch of sort of teal in it. You can probably tell when you see my jacket, it's got that more indigo de denim colour. And the pattern that I've chosen is the Ruby Top by Made by Ray. And the reason I've chosen it is because you've got that opportunity to mix two chambrays. So you've got the opportunity to have a solid colour on the top and a pattern on the bottom. So you could mix uh, a plain chambray with the butterfly fabric on, that I just showed on the bottom. Or you can even mix different fabric contents. So you can have a chambray on the top and then you could have uh, a gauze on the bottom or a viscose with more drape on the bottom. Or you could use this lighter weight chambray to make the whole top. You can make it a little bit longer and have tunic style or you can have it shorter and have it more boxy. So this has got quite a lot of uh, versatility. I've also seen it made for teenagers as a summer top with shorts. So um, it does go to XXS right up to um, size three. So that's a 29 inch chest if you're making one for a, a younger person and right up to a 48 inch chest if you needed that size. So there's a good range on there. And I think if you were mixing this fabric, it's a good mixer. But I also think it's such a beautiful quality. It would make a really nice solid colour top for summer. The next set of chambray I'd like to show you has different contents. So I've chosen uh, a dress selection, but um, different features of different dresses will suit different types of chambray. The first one I'm going to show you has got a liar cell uh, content so the drape is amazing and the only way I can probably show you the drape is if you listen to it 
and you can see it's got a drape that um, would be useful for the features on some patterns. So I've chosen B6446 by Butterick because this has a flowing skirt and that tie waist there and sometimes a bow looks really great when it's a big stiff bow but sometimes on a dress you want the bow to be more subtle and the tie around the waist to hang really nicely and this fabric is perfect for that. You could also make this long version with the floating sleeve because there's enough drape in this fabric to give you a floating sleeve which isn't always the case with anything that's denim coloured. So you could get a really uh, casual looking denim effect dress that is floaty and that's quite an unusual thing to try and combine. This fabric is in the sort of higher price bracket but it is uh, got the lyocell content which gives you that different texture for anything that's denim coloured um, and it comes in four colours, four denim colours and this one is dark blue. That is really nice and, and even when you, if you make a jacket like my jacket has that sort of content that gives it a drape so you don't have a really stiff jacket you have something that feels like a cardigan so that's why I've chosen a pattern that's got that sort of ruching and floating skirt which you wouldn't ordinarily get from just a normal chambray if you like the idea of a draping chambray or a draping denim effect fabric then you can also look out for something that's got a viscose content. Now this one is a little bit quieter, if you like, and it's a little bit softer in its drape. And I've chosen it because for gathering it is perfect. Because, because of the viscose content, when it's gathered, it, it won't protrude out at your hips and around your stomach you'll get a really tight gather that means you can try something with tears. So the pattern that I've chosen is the Lyra dress. The long sleeve version for winter would be great in this, but also a short sleeve one with sandals would be perfect. But if you're adding those tears here, you'll get a really nice finish. The only thing you're going to have to uh, beware of if you use something with such a drape is that you interface the collar and the button band so that you don't get a really really floppy collar but even then I think on a summer dress you can you can have a softer collar so this one is uh, 55 inches wide it's a mid blue this one is a hundred percent viscose so there's no mention of chambray at all there but when you look at the raw edge you'll see that telltale white thread running through the blue weave. This would also make a really lovely blouse, um, tunics, anything where chambray in the past has let you down in terms of drape, then this is a really good alternative. The next fabric is in the higher price bracket too, but it is absolutely beautiful. This one is 100% tensile. So you're getting uh, a fluidity in this fabric, not so much a drape, but you'll get a fluid line running on the fabric. You get that little bit of a sheen. It, it's almost like um, cotton sateen finish, a slight sheen, but with all that look of denim that people who choose chambray really like. This one is a sustainable fabric, so if you like to check out the credentials of your fabric, you can look that up. Um, it is 61 inches wide, so it's very, very wide. So even though it's expensive, it's, it's really good value in that you'll get a, a good width for putting on the fold. It's also good if you're making a shirt dress because you'll have lots of pieces in a shirt dress, a collar, button band, button band facing. So if you're cutting out on 61 inches wide, every time you need a full length of a shirt dress for the button band, you keep using another length of your fabric. So with this being 61 wide, it is really good value for money. And talking of shirt dress, 
but I've chosen the Cashmerette Lennox shirt dress and it's got princess seams which really helps with fitting it's got a yoke at the back but also two fitting lines at the back so the back is in three pieces I can get that for you the back is in three pieces so there's a yoke a centre back and two uh, side pieces so you can there's a lot of options for fitting on here but with this fabric, you've just got that nice drape coming from a gathered waist. So you're not going to add extra inches to your waist there with a thick gather. It's perfect shirt dress material. This, In fact, the Lyra would be good in this um, that hasn't got the gathered tiers. So the, the plain one with the short sleeves, that would also look good in this. It's a really beautiful quality. It's just... You know, that would make a work dress in a shirt dress style that's timeless, that would last for years and years and years and years if you made it really nicely. That's a fabric that has uh, a future. The next fabric is by Robert Kaufman and it's a poly cotton. So this one's 55% cotton and 45% polyester. And the reason I've chosen this is because it comes in 14 different colours. So I wanted to remind you that chambray isn't just blue. This is a beautiful mint green. If you have a darker skin tone, um, this would look beautiful. I, I don't think it's really for me, really. But if, if you've got uh, a darker skin, then that would look absolutely stunning. It is a little bit stiffer. It's got that sort of crispiness about it because of the polyester content. It's not quite as fluid as cotton but that does give it some advantages in other patterns. And the pattern it would give you an advantage in is a pattern with box pleats because you could get the crispest pleat and iron here and you could get a really firm neckline that doesn't sag. You'd get a really structured dress. So this is the Cashmere Upton dress. Again, it goes from size 12 to 28 like the last one. It maybe isn't for the dress that hasn't got the uh, pleats because I think you would lose that sort of floating, you'd lose that floating hem with this fabric, but it would make a very structured, almost a vintage style dress here because it's got the wide waistband. You'd have those really crisp pleats and then you would have the um, darted top that would look really crisp and really stylish. It's uh, only 43 inches wide. That's what you get with the Robert Kaufman fabrics. But you do have instead a beautiful texture. And that little weave showing through. And of course, 14 different colours. Continuing with the dress selection, um, we've got a fabric from Mind the Maker. And again, you pick it up and you can just feel that it's from a quality fabric house. And this one has a bit of stretch in it. So this is called Getty Organic Cotton Chambray with a bit of stretch. So it doesn't have stretch along the salvage, but it does the other way. Look, not loads, but just if you're making a dress and you want a fitted bust, but you want that little bit of movement around the back of your arms it's really great it's got that sort of sheen that cotton sateen sort of sheen it's 97 percent cotton and it's three percent elastane which gives it that stretch on the width it does have some pretty good eco credentials so if you want if that's your thing and you want to read up on it have a look it's unwashed, untreated, unbleached, raw denim. So it might lose its colour over time a little bit. But then sometimes if you make a really classic style dress and uh, the fabric develops its own character over time, that really does make the most interesting dress. The dresses that I've chosen, I've chosen two. Again, I've gone for a cashmere because of the stretch. I think that would give a really nice fit here across the bust. There are also the pleats here. 
so that is the Upton dress. If you want a more casual style, then I've chosen the Megan Nielsen Darling dress. And just as they've shown us, it does look great in chambray. You could wear it in the winter with tights and boots. You can wear it in the summer with sandals. You can have an easy casual style or you can have the one with the gathered waist. This is okay for gathering around a waist. You wouldn't want to make tears with it. But because it's so fine and so beautifully woven, you will get a good gather for the waist seam. So this one is by Mind the Maker. It's the Getty Organic Cotton Chambray. My final dress selection is New Look 6262. So if you prefer to sew from the big four sewing patterns, I've tried to choose something similar to the Upton dress. So this has a, a gathered waist, small sleeves, bigger sleeves. It's got a little tie belt that you can add to it. I'll show you the scheme. Sometimes that's easier to see the shape. And again, I'm trying to show you some fabrics that aren't blue all of the time. So this is an art gallery fabric. It's 80% cotton and 20% polyester. This one is uh, called Adobe Clay. It's just got that sort of nicer than beige. It's got a sort of peachy tone to it. Again, if you've got darker skin, that would look absolutely beautiful. I get a bit washed out with that colour, but for some people it's looks really sophisticated it's got a sort of melanged texture that sort of woke you can really see the vertical weave lines in that one and it comes in eight neutral colors so if you're looking to make a solid color dress because you've made so many pattern things that you just need to mix it up a little bit then that one is beautiful that is the art gallery cotton and poly cotton and it would make a beautiful new look 6262. The next chambray I'm going to show you is by Seven Berry. And this one has a little dobby dot in it, look. So you've got that uh, woven look. And then in it are little darker grey dots. And sometimes that's called dobby when you have a darker weave thread making a little raised texture. This one is called Seven Berry Cotton Dots. It comes in four hues, this sort of grey and some blue. It's only narrow, it's 43 inches wide, so you might need to check your uh, fabric requirements against the pattern. And this is fabulous shirt making material it presses beautifully you can um, get a really crisp color really nice points and I've chosen two shirt patterns um, one is Vogue 8759 and this pattern has uh, a granddad collar and a normal collar it has a yoke and a back split into three pieces so you can get a really good fit across the shoulders or if you're sewing for women I've chosen the Granville shirt it's really classic. You can add the pockets or you can keep it really smooth for work. You can make that quite casual or you can make that into a work shirt. And this fabric with these tiny little dots on would make just a change from having a plain chambray. But again, it's classed as chambray. It's got that white weave running through it that gives it that classic texture. So this one is by Seven Berry. I've got a few more shirt patterns to show you. This one is very popular with Minerva makers. This is McCall's 6044. A short sleeved, a long sleeved, pockets, uh, cargo pockets, flat pockets. If you check out that pattern off the product list below, you'll see some really great versions modelled by husbands and boyfriends and it's really good and the range of fabrics that people use for it are immense but it would be great in chambray so 
This one is a lightweight chambray, which would be perfect for the short sleeve version. This sort of looks full circle. This looks like the one from uh, the very beginning, but this one uh, hasn't got a polyester content, I don't think. It's 59 inches wide. It's in the mid price range. And again, you can see that chambray finish, the blue threads and the white threads running through it, which gives it that beautiful texture. That is a really classic shirt fabric. Perfect for McCall's 6044. The final shirt fabric I'd like to show you is a washed chambray. So this one has sort of cowboy Bruce Springsteen kind of look. It's got that denim look to it, but it's a really lovely shirt weight. Same weight as the last fabric. A little bit smoother, a little bit more dense but still fluid and this one would make a great sort of cowboy style shirt or shirt with a rolled up cuff and so I have chosen the Fairfield button up shirt so if you like that classic shirt pattern and this one is in in extra small up to XXL up to a 48 inch chest and it's got um, here look it's got the rolled up sleeve with a little tab on it. So if you want to get, get that sort of workman shirt look, then this fabric has got that washed out denim look that looks really great in that star shirt. The next one I'm gonna show you is my favorite, but be warned, you must absolutely pick the right pattern to use with it. This is a Robert Kaufman linen mix chambray. So look at the look at the denim look in that. It's absolutely lovely. It's got that real crushed linen denim look, but it isn't denim. It's a bit of a buster on the budget, but I think a fabric like that has got so if you make the right item with it. It's so worth it. It's 62% cotton and 38% linen. And it feels like linen. It's got a sort of slight spring and bounce back. And this one is indigo. And this sort of fabric is really perfect for making a wardrobe staple. So if jeans aren't cutting it for you anymore or uh, you can't find the right size jeans, you find it difficult to get the hip and waist ratio right for jeans, then to make um, wardrobe basics in this, it gives you that uh, freedom of wearing something that looks like denim, but without all the restrictions of wearing jeans. So I have two patterns to show you to use with this, and they're both um, staple items. So the first one is the Chardon skirt by Deer and Doe, and I've chosen it because it's got those pleats. And if you've got linen, you can really, really get a great press. So instead of wearing a denim skirt, you could wear this skirt. Particularly if you're not allowed to wear denim to your workplace, then this is a way to get that sort of uh, denim base colour that you can wear all your other things with. So the Chardon skirt would look great with this chambray linen. And also the Narcisse trousers. Now, these are a bit of a intermediate make. A slow sew along is that. You've got darts, fly, waistband, uh, welt pockets, but they're a really great fitting trouser because they have a side panel in. So you get a panel here, which you can grade up. So I've got the width of the panel here, and then as it goes up to my waist, I've taken that in so I can get a really good fit on the waist, to the hip and I need a smaller waist but plenty here so this is the uh, Narcissus trousers and I've made those out of Robert Kaufman yarn dyed linen in the green but these would make a great substitute for jeans that base layer that you wear all of the time 
and everything goes with it. My final choice is a yarn dyed um, chambray. It comes in 11 colours and you can see how that was the yarn colour, that red, but when it's mixed with the white you get a much uh, paler colour. So this is sort of verging on a pink and this is 100% cotton. It's 56 inches wide. It's mid-range. Again, even though I'm going to show a pyjama pattern for this, it would be great for any of the shirt patterns that I've just shown you. And um, possibly some of the um, shirt, not the shirt dress, uh, the new look dress. Because it's lightweight and it's got that summer sort of feel to it. And the pattern that I've chosen is my favourite pyjama pattern, which is the Carolyn Pyjamas. And you often see people making it with the most beautiful pattern fabric. But if you make it in a, a plain fabric, then you can choose some really funky um, piping. A patterned piping looks really, really great. Or a different coloured piping or a satin piping. So if you want to have a play with some piping, but you don't want it to interfere with your overall uh, collar look, then go for a plain, solid cotton that's great and comfortable for and light for wearing in bed and then choose something exciting on the piping front and you'll get a really original pair of pyjamas. It's really light this, um, light in weight. So it's nice for pyjamas because it's not, it's not going to be heavy. It's called yarn dyed cotton. It comes in 11 solid colours and it's perfect for the Carolyn pyjamas. Check out any of the fabrics below and see what other people have made with them. Mine are just suggestions, but the best way to find out about fabric pattern matching is to check out what Minerva makers have been making. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that's given you a little run through of chambray and taken you out of the world of blue chambray and into uh, an area where you can choose all sorts of different types. You can click on saves using the little flags. So if you've seen any fabrics that you like today, you can click on save and put them into a folder or a file called cotton or chambray or shirt or however you would like to organise your ideas and products that you see on Minerva. You can join the Minerva Club and be a VIP member and join in with sales and events and enjoy discounts throughout the year. Thank you.